the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 121, Proverbs 21 to 24. Do not envy a foolish person's wealth. A truly wise man is one who does not envy the prosperity of the evil, but overcomes greed for wealth and fills his heart with fear of God. What's the point? By keeping to God's ways, we can avoid increasing people in distress, people in debt, and people with resentment. If people try to become rich by taking other people's belongings or by cheating, then it will increase the people who are in distress, in debt, and full of resentment. In order to prevent this, God taught Abraham and his descendants about showing God's grace. For I have chosen him so that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just, so that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what he has promised him. A kingdom of priests does not just stop with a few rules. It has actions that follow. In regards to this, Solomon wrote, A person may think their own ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Solomon dreamed to be like his father in dancing and praising God, and to make a country that was just and righteous in the eyes of God. As Solomon knew this, he was able to understand the heart of the real mother, who was in distress due to another lying mother who wanted to take her child. Second point, winning and losing is always in the hands of the Lord. The Bible teaches that battles belong to God. Winning and losing does not depend on numbers or tactics, but on God. Moses, Joshua, Gideon, and David knew and experienced this. The Exodus generation saw how God fought for them in the battle against the Amalekites. God's method was for Moses to keep his hands up. As long as Moses' arm was up, the Israelites would win. And if it went down, the Amalekites would win. The battle during the days of Samuel against the Philistines was also governed and won through God. David knew this and so was able to fight against Goliath. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For battles is the Lord's, and He will give all of you into our hands. Third point. Good habits should be made during youth. God told the Israelites to teach the laws to their children. It is to be with him, and he is to read it all the days of his life so that he may learn. To revere the Lord his God and follow carefully all the words of this law and these decrees. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the Lord, when you lie down, and when you get up. Solomon also emphasized that the laws should be taught during youth. Then one would be able to study what they have learned during their youth when they grew old. Timothy is a very good example of this, and how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus.
All scriptures is God's breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Fourth point. Making a false accusation about someone is only your loss. It is hard to find someone who is more famous for their trial than Solomon during the ancient days. Regarding trials, Solomon said, do not exploit the poor and do not crush the needy in court, for the Lord will take up their case and will exalt life for life. In Deuteronomy, it is written that trials belong to God. God spoke a lot about the sin of making a false accusation about someone. Hence, God listened to the words of Abel. The Lord said, What have you done? Listen. Your brother's blood cried out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. David told God of his state of mind because of Saul and said that God was his judge. David knew that God would help his situation because he had been falsely accused. David's son Absalom misused the trials in order to carry out his coup d'etat. God through the prophet Amos emphasized how it was long to make false accusations. For I know how many are your offenses and how great your sins. God furthermore said that he would punish those who were not just through the prophet Jeremiah. Thus, making false accusations will lead that person to no good. Fifth point, there is no point in envying the wicked. Just because the wicked look like they have succeeded does not mean that we should envy them. The more we experience suffering, the more we can understand God's compassion. And therefore, we should not envy the wicked. Do not envy the wicked. Do not desire their company. For their heart is plot violence, and their lips talk about making trouble. David sang that the wicked will fly by like the wind. It may seem that the wicked prosper in the short term, but like the words of Prophet Habakkuk, the one with the face will live and prosper. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.